Minnesota's latest invasive species in the spotlight is not to be trifled with. They're destructive. They wrecked our car. And they could be in the very soil beneath your feet. Get off the ground! Dr. Lee Freilich, head of the Center for Forest Ecology at the University of Minnesota, has been tracking these creatures for some time. Maybe about 15 years ago, I would say, when some of them appeared in Loring Park and they killed a bunch of hostas in, in the garden there. They're not man-eating monsters from a bad science fiction movie. They're jumping worms from East Asia. And I saw those hostas sitting there and you could just touch them and pick them up. It turns out they weren't connected to the ground because these giant jumping worms had all gathered on their roots and eaten parts of the roots. The jumping worms get their name from their violent wiggling and snake-like moving when they're disturbed. They're voracious consumers of biomass and will destroy the top two inches of soils they inhabit, turning it into a loose coffee ground-like consistency. We are very much worried because they turn soils into very loose, you know, granular you know, uh, you know, materials. So when you step on those loose you know, soils perturbed by jumping worms, then you are very much more likely to cause a soil erosion. If these worms get into Minnesota's forests, they could have a devastating effect. This is really the first study in Minnesota. Tyler Bauman is a boots-on-the-ground graduate student with extensive knowledge of these pests. He's conducting research at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum. We're looking at how they're affecting the forests, so once you're affecting the soil and changing the soil, you're really changing everything. The good news is that jumping worms only live in the top two inches of soils and can't survive our winters. Bad news is the cocoons, or the eggs that they lay, can. And now they're spreading, you know, via the widespread distribution and redistribution of mulch that happens in the, the community of, of gardeners in Minnesota. In general, Lee says you're safe with mulches from reputable garden stores. Most of the really high quality commercial mulches are brought up to a high enough temperature to kill the worms and their eggs, which are in the, the little cocoons that they lay. To treat community mulch that you may bring home. Well, you'd have to bring it up to temperature of like 110 degrees to do that. So you could put it in the sun with plastic sheeting. With our temperature lately, mulch put out on a blacktop surface or in a black plastic trash bag in the heat of the day for a couple of hours could be enough to spell the demise of the writhing menace before you put them in your garden or flower bed. I'll post helpful links from the University of Minnesota and the Minnesota DNR in the story on our website. In Brooklyn Park, Neil Persley, CCX News.